Hello and welcome to the Minutes to Win It podcast. I'm Big Italy 42. He is Jason Gilbo at jgilbo11. We're talking about tonight's action and last night, very high scoring night. We had some uh, some fringe value plays going off. We had every great player going off. Steph Curry with probably the biggest point spread you're ever going to see going off for uh, over 60 FanDuel points. Um, Anthony Davis finally had his breakout game over 70. We had James Harden going over 60. So Perfect stars and scrubs type of night, as we saw lots of scrubs on some winning lineups uh, along with the stars. So tonight, going to be a different story. First off, starting at point guard, we've got um, Ish Smith likely to draw the start. I don't think it's been official yet, but he should um, with Drew Holiday ruled out for tonight. And he was really good last night. Uh, 34 minutes, 8 points, 4 rebounds, 11 assists, 2 steals in 34 minutes. So while his number, his minutes were trending down, got to expect that he's going to be somewhere in that 30 to 35 range tonight with Holiday out. Yeah, I'm guessing that's probably where we're going to see him. Um, I mean, he had a decent night last night. The match was pretty solid. Um, I can't see anyone being a true defender against him. Um, you know, for a value play, uh, I think you got to look at Ish Smith tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, TJ McConnell as well, uh, facing off against Orlando. We saw his minutes bump up from 23 to 35, back down to 25 last night. But this is also a very young player. He's only played now six games or I'm sorry, five games in the NBA. It was the second time against Cleveland, who they're a smart defensive team. So um, there's not a whole lot you have to worry about with the 76ers. So my thought there is they kind of try to take him out of his uh, his element, if he even has an element yet. But um, at his price tonight, you, you expect probably, what, 28 to 30 minutes in this one. And um, I think a lot of people will be off him with that recency bias because he did struggle last night. But when you factor in his salary, I mean, he wasn't terrible. He just you know, took up your roster spot. You wished you could have done something different with the spot itself. Yeah, and, you know, the fact that he was so highly owned, it didn't really make a true difference because I think looking at most of my head-to-heads, it was him, um, you know, him in a top-tier point guard last night, so it didn't hurt me. Um, yeah, I think you do see a bump in minutes tonight. You're probably looking, you know, closer to that 28 range, like you said. Um, I, I mean, the matchup's great against Orlando. Yeah, and then um, on the opposite side here, we've got uh, the Atlanta Hawks backcourt, Jeff Teague, Dennis Schroeder, a lot of times we've seen on the back-to-backs, we've seen Jeff Teague get lower minutes, Schroeder take on a bigger role. But so far this season, on a back-to-back, he went 30 minutes to 34. Then the next back-to-back they had, he went 34 to 28. They played last night. So with this one, played 32 minutes last night. Wouldn't be surprised to see him in the 28-minute uh, 28 point or 28 minute range where we see uh, Schroeder, who has gone on those back-to-backs from 18 to 33 and from 16 to 28. So you got to expect, um, coming off only 19 minutes last night, we can expect Schroeder to probably see 25 to 28 minutes tonight. Yeah, I'm with you there. I mean, Atlanta likes to play it safe on the back-to-backs. They're the East Coast Spurs team where they like to uh, rest their guys. So I'm not really I'm not really paying up for the Atlanta Hawks. Um, I mean, really looking at T, who's 7,400. There's just better options tonight. We're going to see more minutes and, and probably a little bit more production. Yeah, and then uh, two other guys we'll just touch on real quick. Um, Darren Williams and uh, Darren Collison. Darren Williams seeing right around 28 minutes a game. Darren Collison now seeing just over 30, 31 to 32 per game. So both those guys are going to be uh, in play as far as values go. But I mean, obviously, if you're paying up, it's I mean, it's Steph Curry, and then it's everybody else. Um, shooting guard, a couple guys to talk about here. Evan Fournier, we saw him. He was the the value play extraordinaire for the first week or so. Really struggled last night, but had an individual matchup with Damari Carroll, who. As we know, one of the better defenders, better wing defenders in all of basketball. I mean, probably a top five uh, as far as wing defenders. So Fournier really struggled with this shot. And obviously, if his shot's not falling, he doesn't have a whole lot of production. Also ended up with only 28 minutes, probably because they realized you can't play this guy 40-plus minutes every single night. They saw he was struggling, took his minutes down. So you got to imagine tonight he gets back up in that mid-30s, 32 to 36 minutes. And... Uh, Obviously facing Philly tonight and not Damari Carroll, that's a much, much better matchup for him. Yeah, I'm hoping people kind of stay off of him. Um, I think you're probably going to see him be a, still kind of highly owned for tournaments, but um, not as high as last night, that's for sure. But, I mean, the, the matchup against Philly is great. Um, you know, they rank pretty much dead last in, in allowing uh, opposing small forward fantasy points there. So, um, I mean, I'm looking at him as another mid-range value play again. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely with you there. Um, two other guys, Marcus Thornton is another guy who was – more popular than you and I had expected he would be last night, but he played 42 minutes in that one. And now it's his fourth consecutive game with at least 22.9 FanDuel points, upwards of 28 here. So 
He's a guy that still provides you with a nice value. Dwight Howard's going to be back tonight, so maybe a few less shots to go around. But um, Dwight Howard's not a big usage player anyway. So um, as long as Terrence Jones remains out, which it looks like he's still going to be out for the foreseeable future with what is it called? Lacerated eyelid, they say he has now. Um, Thornton's just going to continue to be a nice value play, and his price hasn't really risen at all. Yeah, I mean, if I'm going, if I'm paying up for the studs tonight, I mean, Thornton's probably going to be one of those plays that needs to be in your lineup um, just because he's so cheap and the production's been so consistent. You know, you look at the matchup, I mean, Clippers aren't a great defensive team, and this is one of the highest totals of the night just behind the Golden State game. Um, so, you know, I want to get as many pieces of this game as possible. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with you there. Um, and then last up, Nick Stauskas. This is not a great um, matchup for him individually. But for $3,900 on FanDuel, this is a guy whose minutes have increased every single game, 21, 29, 35, 38. Um, every, every indication we've heard is saying he's going to play as many minutes as he can handle. So you got to expect he's going to be locked in in 30 to around 35 minutes. But, I mean, he doesn't have a big ceiling. But just the simple fact that he's going to be on the court for 35-plus minutes here um, gives him a nice floor, probably of at least you know fifteen to eighteen fantasy points. So I guess he's a decent filler um, if you need one there at that position. Yeah, I mean, because you look at him and I mean, he's a good three point shooter. That's kind of really all he is. Um, maybe he can nab a couple rebounds and and assist there. But you're really hoping he can get hot. Um, yeah, I, I think probably a tournament play just because Thornton's so closely priced. Yeah, I completely agree there. I definitely prefer Thornton. And then on that same team, Houston Rockets. Uh, Corey Brewer was banged up going into last night. Only played 17 minutes. Um, he's a guy, his minutes have really fluctuated a lot. Uh, we saw 29, 21, 22. He had a 35, a 17. So um, his minutes are going to be pretty tough to predict. It's going to depend on his health especially. But I'm, I'm guessing low 20s, 22 to 25 probably for Brewer tonight. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what he should be at. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what the deal was last night with only playing 17 um, especially because, I mean, it was the game was fairly close up until the end there, so he should have been in. Um, I mean, I don't think the injury is too serious. It just looks like a thigh bruise. So, But I know these NBA guys, uh, a bruise is like having your leg sawed off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. So uh, um, elsewhere at Small Four, there's not a whole lot to see. Uh, you got Trevor Reza looking now like the player he was last year, cash game lock, 35 to 40 minutes a game, $5,800 especially on FanDuel. Just way too cheap for him tonight. He's the guy that I'm going to probably have quite a bit of. Yeah, and matching up against uh, Lance Stevenson there, that's a nice nice matchup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ariza should win that battle uh, 100 times out of 100. Um, one other guy here to talk about at power forward, uh, John Henson. Finally made his debut 23 minutes and <laughs> had a ridiculous game. Uh, 22 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, 3 blocks, and a steal. Um, this is a guy on a per point per minute basis that obviously not using just this one game as sample size, but you know the last couple seasons when he gets minutes he's productive. But the issue with him is he's never going to be the thirty five minute game, thirty five minute a game guy. He's going to be the twenty to twenty five. But I mean, if he continues to play like that, then you got to imagine that he's going to be getting you know a lot of looks when he's in there. And it's not like that's a a tough front court um, tonight that he's facing in Brooklyn. Yeah, I mean, the thing, he's always been a frustrating guy just because, well, not his fault, but I mean, looking at last year when they had Larry Sanders issues and they had Zaza there not getting big minutes, you would expect Henson to come in and step up, but I mean, this is a guy sometimes we, we see, you know, he could go for 25 minutes, but on some nights he can go for 10, 14, just because we never know what they're doing there. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be tough to predict, but definitely a guy to keep on your tournament radar for tonight, yeah. though. Um, Dwight Howard going to be back tonight. Set out last night because at 29 years old, um, apparently he's just so banged up. Um, I'm also 29 years old. I feel pretty good most days. Uh, I don't get days off every three days like Dwight Howard, but I guess I'm also not. I, my job's a lot more easy than his is. But uh, either way, Dwight Howard going to be back tonight. And he's he's played well, um, very well, in fact, in his last two games. 66 minutes played, uh, 39 points, 22 rebounds, four blocks, couple assists, couple steals. So um, as far as tournaments go, it's a guy that I think a lot of people are still going to be off of. Last time he played, um, I had him in, I think it was the, the sharpshooter on DraftKings, and he was around 1% owned. So if you're looking for a big upside guy at low ownership, I think he's a good tournament look tonight. Yep, I'm with you there. Um, although I probably said I wasn't going to play him ever again. <laughs> I think I might consider him for some tournaments tonight. You're not allowed to. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm banned. DraftKings will have him banned. He's just crossed off on all of your <laughs> Yeah, all I'm your on a games. freeze. Yeah, but... Uh, 
Either way, I mean, it's a, it's a guy to consider. He's still not he's not going to be playing big big minutes, but probably around 30 to 32, you'd imagine, yeah. on this one end. Uh, other guy, uh, Dwayne Dedman, very popular last night, but this is a guy that last season played 25-plus minutes just five times. Not a guy you're expecting to play big minutes, and um, obviously he's going to have to step into a bigger role with uh, Nikola Vucevic out. So you got to temper your expectations, though, because this guy – it's just not a, I mean, he's not a big upside guy. He's not a guy that you can even really expect big minutes out of. So if Vooch continues to sit out, um, we'll see, you know, upper 20s minutes from him. But he, he also has a really low floor. If he's not blocking shots, I mean, his floor is around probably 10 fantasy points. Yeah, so. I'm with you there. I mean, it's a risky play, but as we saw last night, it paid off. Yeah, so definitely, uh, definitely we'll see how that goes moving forward. Check on Vooch's status for that. But that's going to wrap things up. Find us on Twitter at DF Cafe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out the rest of our great content at DailyFantasyCafe.com.